Hey y'all, Nico here. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, thanks for joining me. I'm Nico. Today's video is for the new moon in Capricorn. Of course, this new moon is good for change as full moons and new moons are always great for change. And this moon is also good for productivity, achieving your goals. So we are going to do poses that activate the solar plexus, which relates to achieving your goals because it houses your confidence and your will and your power. We're also going to be doing some heart chakra poses just to open you up to change in your life and also just to welcome any positive emotions that may be coming along with this moon and a few poses that also help to open your sacral chakra which is the chakra that aligns with change in your life so let's begin in an easy seated position and we'll use the ushas mudra and to use the ushas mudra we will interlace our fingers and touch the tips of our thumbs into a nice comfortable seat let's start with some breath deep inhale through the nose exhale out the mouth inhale through the nose Exhale out the mouth. One more deep inhale through the nose. And exhale out the mouth. And come back to your natural breath. Letting go of control over the breath. Spending a few moments here, preparing our minds and our bodies for this new moon practice in which we hope to open ourselves up to change and to strengthen our will and our power and to be open to feeling emotions. One more inhale and exhale. Let's start to bring some movement into the body. You can keep your hands in the Ushas Mudra if you like. We'll bring our chin down to our chest and start to rotate our head to the right. Inhale back. Exhale forward. Moving with your breath. Nice, slow, easy movement. Let's do a couple more times to the right. Let's do the same thing. Start to rotate your head to the left. Inhale back. Exhale forward. couple more times to the left and bring your head back to neutral let's release the hands and sweep the arms up inhale interlace the fingers press the palms towards the ceiling reach breathe up exhale 
twist to the right side, left hand on the outside of right knee, right fingertips face the wall behind you, look towards the back shoulder or straight ahead. Take an inhale, come back to center. Interlace the fingers, press the palms away, reaching up, breathing up. Exhale, twist to the left, right hand outside of left knee. Left fingertips face the back wall. Gaze straight ahead or let your gaze follow the left shoulder. Take an inhale, come back up to the center. Interlace those fingers, press the palms away again. Exhale, release the hands. Let's come up to hands and knees for some cat cow, Marjariyasana and Bidalasana. Hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. Start to flip the tailbone upward, arch the spine. Drop the belly down, lift the chin, inhale. Exhale, tuck the tailbone under, round the spine, bring the chin down to the chest. Good, inhale back to the first position. Cow pose, lift the chin, tailbone flips up. Exhale to cat. Let's move through a few more rounds. Moving with your breath at your own pace. back to neutral walk your hands back a couple inches and we'll just rock back and forth over the wrists giving our wrists a little stretch here we're going to be doing poses that activate the solar plexus which is in your belly so we'll be doing a little bit of core core work so just remember to take care of your body Come back to neutral. And then we'll tuck the toes under, start to lift the hips up and back for our down dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. If you're not ready for down dog, stay down on the knees, extend the arms out, come to a puppy pose. And if you are up and down dog, you can take a moment, pedal your feet out here one at a time. Now we're going to transition from down dog to up dog. So start to round into your spine, float your body forward towards a plank, and then drop your hips down. Bring the tops of the feet flat. If this isn't comfortable for you, come down to your belly and come to cobra pose, or you can come to sphinx pose on the forearms. Otherwise, we're in up dog, activated through the shoulders, chin parallel to the floor. Pull the head back, not up. Inhale. Exhale, back to down dog. So we're going to do that a couple more times. Roll your body forward, plank. Up dog, inhale. Or come down to the belly for Bhujangasana Cobra. Exhale, back to down dog. One more time, roll the body forward, inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog, good. And when you're ready, we'll start to lift the right leg back, inhale, exhale, bring the foot up in between the hands, 
or however you can safely get your foot there is fine. Bring your feet to about hips distance apart. See if you can stay up on your back toe as we inhale up to a crescent lunge. So right knee aligned over your ankle, nice strong base here. Feel free to bend into this back knee a little bit if you like. We'll sweep the arms up, crescent lunge. Good. Now from here, start to straighten your front knee. Good. Now from here, take an inhale. Exhale, hands come down to heart center. And we're going to twist to the right side. So go ahead and rotate your back heel down flat. Readjust, square your chest with the front of the room. And we'll lean forward. Let the left elbow come outside of the right knee for a revolve lunge here. If you want to stay up on the back toe, you can. And then if you are feeling good here, we're going to bring the left hand down and extend the right arm up for a revolve side angle. This is pretty challenging, so don't feel the need to have to bring the left hand down to the ground. You can keep your hands in a prayer position. Good. Inhale. Exhale. We're going to start to straighten the front knee and bring the arms out wide. Inhale here. Exhale, reach forward with the right hand. Lower it down to the shin, the ankle, or the ground for Trikonasana. Left arm extends up. Keeping the left arm extended or bending it behind your back. Maybe your gaze lifts, or you can bring your gaze down towards the foot if you need a little bit more balance. Now you can stay here if you want a little more, if you are feeling like challenging yourself, you can bend into this right knee, rest the right hand on the pinky toe side of the right foot, extend the left arm up, and let the left leg come off the ground for half moon pose. Maybe your gaze lifts up towards the thumb, that's more challenging. Also feel free to stay in your triangle pose. Inhale. Exhale, lower the left hand down no matter where you are. Bend into the right knee. We'll come to a lunge position. And then we'll step straight back to our down dog. <sighs> Taking a couple breaths here. We're building some heat. So just find your breath again. Feel the difference on one side of your body versus the other. Maybe that right side feels a little more elongated and stretched. And we'll do that on the other side. Left leg extends back, inhale. Exhale, knee comes to the chest, step the foot up in between the hands. Feet come to hips distance apart. Left knee aligned over the ankle. Sweep the arms up for your crescent lunge. Good. You can rotate the back heel down flat, or you can stay up on the back toe. Inhale. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Lean your body forward and we'll twist to the right. Staying up on the back toe might make the twist a little bit easier, but it'll make the balancing a little bit harder. So you can stay just like this, or lower this right hand down. Left arm extends up. Or revolve, extended side angle. Good. From here, we start to straighten our front leg. Bring those arms out wide. Inhale. Exhale, reach for it. Left hand, lower it down, ankle, shin, or ground. Right arm extends up for Trikonasana. And if you like, you can bend that right arm behind your back. And we go towards the sky. So feel free to stay here if you want a little more. Left hand rest down on the pinky toe side of the left foot. Shifting our weight into the left foot. Left leg extends back. Right arm extends up. 
Maybe you look up towards this right hand for half moon. Inhale. Exhale, right hand lowers down. Come to a lunge position. And we'll step that left foot straight back to down dog. Taking a couple breaths here. If you need a rest, drop down to your knees for child's pose. Good. When you're ready, we'll take an inhale. Right leg extends back. Exhale, knee to chest. Step it up in between the hands. Left knee is going to come down to the ground. And we'll sweep the arms up for a low lunge. Go ahead and bring the top of that left foot down flat. If you like, you can small, find a small back bend here. It's optional though. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, bring a hand down on either side of the front foot. And we're going to start to walk our hands towards the left side of the mat. And as we walk our hands towards the left, we will bring this left knee perpendicular with our mat and start to extend this right leg to straight. See if you can bring the side of your foot somewhat parallel to the front edge of your mat. We'll sweep the arms up, inhale. Exhale, you can rest this right hand on the right leg or on the ground. Left arm extends up and over for gate pose, parigasana. You can also keep that left arm extended up towards the sky if you like. Inhale. Exhale, lower the left hand down, and we are going to swing our right leg back and bring the left leg parallel with your mat again. So you'll be in a balancing table position like this. So from here, you can keep your right leg extended just by itself, or you can extend your left arm as well, coming to a balancing table position. Really activating through that core now. Inhale. Exhale, left hand comes down, right knee comes down. We'll lift the hips up and back for down dog again. And you can readjust on your mat here. Now also drop down to the knees if you need a break. And then when you are ready, we'll start to move into those poses on the other side. So we'll take an inhale, left leg extends back. Exhale, step it up in between your hands, left foot, however you get it there. Right knee comes down. And go ahead and bring the top of the right foot flat. We'll sweep the arms up for Anjani Asana, low lunge. Maybe you find a small back bend here, maybe not. Inhale. Exhale, bring those hands down on either side of the front foot. And then we'll start to extend the left leg to straight. Walk on our hands towards the right side of our mat. Swinging our right foot. Right leg is per, per uh, Right leg is perpendicular to our mat. And then see if you can bring the edge of that left foot parallel to the front edge of your mat. Sweep the arms up, inhale. Exhale, left hand either rests on the left leg or lowers down to the ground as the right arm extends over for gate pose or parigasana. If this doesn't feel good, don't force it. Exhale, go ahead and lower 
the right hand down and we'll start to swing this left leg back bring the right leg parallel with your mat so you can stay with left leg only extended or extend the right arm as well for balancing table Good. inhale exhale lower the right hand down lower the left knee down tuck the toes under lift the hips up and back for down dog When you're ready, take an inhale. Exhale, drop down to those knees, big toes together, knees wide, and start to float the hips back just for a rest in child's pose, balasana. Forehead, chin, or cheek can come down to the mat. Good. Take an inhale here. Exhale, float your body forward and make your way to a seat with the knees bent and the feet in front. And we'll move into an avasana or boat pose. So for a boat pose, you can keep your hands arrested down on the ground a couple inches behind the hips. And then we'll start to lift the feet off of Lift the feet off of the ground, bring the shins parallel to the floor. Keep that spine nice and long here. You can stay here with your hands resting or bring your arms out in front. And we're just gonna hold for a few breaths. If you need a rest, feel free to bring those hands down, tap those feet down as much as you need to. Otherwise, we're just holding. Nice core activation here. Let's do a few more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Lower the legs down. Come to a neutral spine. Sit nice and tall. Catch your breath here for a moment. At least I need to catch mine because boat is a difficult pose. And then when you're ready, we'll bend into this right knee. Stepping it over the right foot over the left leg. Right arm extends up. Inhale. Exhale. Twist to the right. Elbow on the outside of knee. Right fingertips face the wall behind you, looking straight ahead or letting your gaze follow the right shoulder for Ardha Machandrasana or Half Lord of Fishes pose. You can keep the left leg extended or you can bend at the left knee if it feels okay. You can bend at the left elbow or you can keep that arm straight. Take an inhale. Exhale, float your body back to center. Extend those legs back out in front. Let's to the other side. Bending into the left knee. Step the left foot over the right leg. Right arm extends up, inhale. Exhale, twist to the left. Right elbow outside of the left knee. Left fingertips face the wall behind you. Looking straight ahead or letting your gaze follow the left shoulder. 
keep the right leg extended or bend it, right elbow bent or straight. We have a couple options here. That's one of the great things about yoga. You can tailor the practice to fit your body's needs. So I show you these modifications in hopes that you'll remember them in case you need to use them for other practices. You can inhale, exhale, release back to center. Let's extend the legs straight out in front. Sweep the arms up, inhale. Flex the toes towards the face. Exhale, long spine as we fold forward. Seated forward bend. If you can grab the toes, feel free. It's not necessary though. Take an inhale, exhale, come back up to a seated position, bring the feet flat onto the ground again, and we'll scoot the hips close to the heels and make our way down to our back. And we'll move into bridge pose, Setu Bandha Sarvangasana. Hands rest on either side of your body, palms facing downward. Walk your heels back until you feel them graze your fingertips. And let your lower back press into the ground. So pulling your belly button back, maybe tilting your pelvis down just to let that connection happen between your lower back and the floor if it's not already there and then we will start to lift the hips make a ramp from the knees down towards the shoulders gently press those knees towards each other if you want a little more you can interlace the fingers underneath you and roll the shoulders underneath your body Take an inhale, exhale, roll down nice and slow, and then hug the knees into the chest for Apanasana, rocking side to side, maybe move those knees in a circle. And let's take an inhale, squeeze our bodies into a little ball. Inhale, hold. Exhale, release to Shavasana. Laying down on your mat. Arms rest at your sides, palms facing upward. Feet reach the bottom corners of the mat. You also have the option to come to a seated position if you like. Just making sure you are comfortable here. And let's start to revisit those long breaths we used earlier in class. Taking a deep inhale. And exhale. Deep inhale. And exhale. One more deep inhale. And exhale. Come back to your natural breath. I 
allowing your body to relax as much as you possibly can. Do a quick scan from your head down towards your toes, seeing if there are any tense areas that you can release. Relax the body and the face, and just let yourself be heavy. And on the next breath, I'll read some New Moon and Capricorn affirmations to you, and you can repeat them silently to yourself. Every day is a fresh start. I open my heart to change. I have the drive to achieve my goals. I can do difficult things. I am allowed to change. Take an inhale. Exhale, begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. If you're laying down, you can roll over onto your favorite side, using your arm as a pillow. Taking a moment to reflect on your practice, to revisit any of those affirmations, and to extend gratitude towards yourself for self-love and self-care that you've extended towards yourself today. When you're ready, come up to a comfortable seat. And together we'll sweep the arms up, inhale, hands meet, exhale, the hands to heart center, namaste. Okay guys, thank you for joining me for this new moon in Capricorn practice. Let me know what you think of this video, if it helped you out. Of course, leave a comment letting me know what types of videos you would like to see next. Check the link down in my description box about becoming a member of my channel. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching. Peace and love.